The situation is as follows. A document has to be translated from English to French. The project manager chose one translator and one reviser. The reviser is a colleague, not a professional translator. This is the editor page. At the top you notice the menu bar. At the left you see the source text. The text is divided in segments. Next to the source text you find the target text. In the middle you'll notice the translation finder showing the internal linguistic resources, translation memories and glossaries, but also public dictionaries. The users can leave a comment or suggestion in the comments window. A preview of the translated text will be displayed in the document viewer window. The segment history will be displayed in the segment information window. We can start to translate now. When WordBee Translator finds a 100% match in the translation memory, the translated segment is displayed in green. Fuzzy matches will be shown in red, if any. Click on a segment. In this case, WordBee Translator has found two terms in the glossaries and suggests a translation. The terms are highlighted. The translator has to complete the translation of the segment. The translator has the possibility to leave a comment for the reviser. When the reviser will open the document in the editor, he will notice immediately the orange colored icons next to the segments where the translator left his comments or questions. At any time you can see a snapshot of your current work in the document viewer. On the top menu, click on Preview. The document viewer is activated. Click on Preview document here. A separate window will be opened and you can examine the intermediate result of your work. The translator has finished his work. He changes the status from in progress to completed. He closes the editor. Since he hasn't any other documents to translate, he can click the button job completed and the message will be sent to the project manager. Now the reviser can start reviewing. Our colleague, the reviser, will accept the request to revise the translated document. In order to open the editor, she will click on Conduct Work. She notices the comments icon and reads the message left for her by the translator. If necessary, she can also leave comments for the project manager or other people involved in the project. She decides to change the uppercase E of Européen in a lowercase e. She clicks on Find Replace on the menu. 
and looks for européen and correct. She continues the revision. She notices that the translation of the term quality control is incorrect and she consults the IAT terminology database. IAT is a terminology database of the European institutions. The reviser can also try other dictionaries available on the web. WordB Translator tracks all the changes. You can see this feature when clicking on the segment information icon. WordB Translator puts the history of all the changes and modifications made on a segment on view. She validates her work by clicking on the status bar and changes the color to green. The project manager can check anytime the progress of the jobs within a project. We can see here that the translation is done and the revision is in progress. When finished, the revisor changes the status of in progress into completed. And now she closes the editor. The job is completed and a message is sent to the project manager. At any moment, WordB Translator allows the project manager to have a helicopter view over all the ongoing and completed projects and jobs. He can select a project on the home page or check the status of the projects on the calendar.